Hello everyone, welcome back to Ramona Home. I'm so excited you're here today because in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to create this gorgeous swag for your front door for Christmas, step by step. If you are interested in how to create a beautiful swag for your front door, I'm gonna show you and give you all the instructions, so stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, and if you already subscribed, don't forget to turn the notification bell on because you will not want to miss what's next. Are you guys ready? Let's head to the studio. All right, everyone, so now I'm gonna show you how to create a gorgeous swag for your front door. And this is going to be the swag that I'm going to have on my front door for the home tour. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use some um, thicker wired mesh ribbon and silver, and then also a white glitter ribbon. I'm gonna use some of these really large ornaments. And I think you're really gonna like this because it's going to really make a statement without having to spend a whole bunch of money or without using a whole bunch of elements. And I found these oversized ornaments at Walmart, believe it or not. These were the only two that they had, but they also have some other ones that I love. And you know, Walmart has become one of my go-to when I'm trying to do something for a client that does not wanna spend a lot of money because at the end of the day, seasonal decor, well, it's just lasts for a season. But they also have these ones right here which I absolutely love as well. And I'm just trying to get the tags off, but I think I'll get them as I go. So I'm gonna use some of those. I'm gonna use a swag from Shinoda Design Center. And then also I'm gonna use a variety of picks, like snow picks and glitter picks. Let's get started so we don't take a lot of time. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna drop my ribbon here on the floor and I'm gonna give it a dab tail with my scissors. Now remember to always have your scissor, your wire cutter, and your wires at the ready. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create a little tail. Now keep in mind, I already fluffed this guy right here because when he came out of the box, honey, it was flat, let me just tell you. So I'm gonna do some oversized loops. Remember everything on this that we're gonna use is going to be oversized. So you have to make some oversized loops. So I'm gonna get some wires out. You guys, I've been having so much fun it's not even funny how fun I'm having. So I'm gonna put this bow right here to the side and remember to go all the way in and spin that wire into your bristle. And then what I'm going to do, so I'm gonna give it a big swoop right here and I'm gonna make a beautiful swoop. And then I'm gonna do another one that it gets smaller. And then I'm gonna do another one they get smaller. And remember, if your ribbon is a designer ribbon, which means it has a print on one side, you always have to make sure that that printed side is facing forward. So that way you get your money maker, what I call what you pay for, which is the print. All right, so now I'm gonna do yet another one, but for this occasion, let's see, let me dovetail right here. For this occasion right here, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller because it's gonna go right here in the middle. Oh, I haven't done a loop, you guys. <laughs> I haven't done a loop and I was ready to wire it. Also, I have my hot glue pan over here hitting up because we're going to glue some things. Remember, the smaller you make those loops, the more loops you have to make, so it really makes an impact. And never forget to give it that twist. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and insert this bow right here. We're gonna fluff in a second. Remember to go all the way in, as you guys can see, like that. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a loop right here. And then I'm gonna do another smaller one right here. I will put this on the door at the end so you guys can see what it looks like. Thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this holiday season. I think it is the best holiday season yet here at Ramona Home. And leave a comment and let me know what has been your favorite project that we've done this year at holiday season here at Ramona Home. I really wanna know what was your favorite project for this holiday season. All right, so now what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna grab one of those big ornaments and I'm gonna wire it, you guys. Remember that if you wire it, then you don't have to glue it and you can repurpose it. And I'm going to go right here, dead center. I'm gonna go all the way in and I'm gonna spin around right here, like this. And I want both of the larger ones to be kinda close together because they're going to create a moment. 
when somebody sees this on your door, they're sure to be wowed. So make sure you put that wire in there. And remember, one is facing to the north, one is to face to the south. I'm gonna move this to me for a second so I can see where I need to put it. Grab that bristle and go all right here in the middle and go all the way in and twist that really good. These ornaments are not heavy, but they are large. So you have to make sure that you twist that really good so they don't go anywhere. And look at that. That just created that statement moment right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go in with a smaller one. Let me see, which one do I want to put? I think I'm gonna put this one right here because I have two of them. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna make sure I don't have my glasses on. I can barely see where the little hole is. I'm gonna go right here and then I'm gonna go all the way in. I'm gonna twist like that. And so now we have a cluster of three and I'm gonna add one right here to continue down. Isn't this fun, you guys? I'm gonna add some greeneries and some glitter pits and it's just gonna make it really shine. So I'm gonna go one step down right here. I'm gonna go all the way in and I'm going to put that there like that. And then the last one that I have of the large ones I'm gonna grab my scissors and cut the little string that it comes with. I'm gonna do all the way to the bottom. You guys might be thinking, Ramon, you've lost your mind. That is too big, but trust me when I tell you, this is gonna be so gorgeous on the door. And it's going to make a statement where like it's going to be seen from far away. Look at that, oh my God. How fun. All right, so now I have a smaller one. And remember, when you're decorating, you have to work in sets of twos, threes, and ones. So I'm gonna have this over here in the middle to make a set of three, a set of two, and a single one over here. So I'm gonna add this one right here. And remember to go all the way in. Let's see. I need it right about here. Remember to go all the way in like that. And then do that. We'll fluff all of these ribbons at the end. All right, so I have all of these ornaments right here. They really make a statement, but I have a whole bunch of dead space, as you guys can probably see right here. I have a lot of bunch, a bunch of old space. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add, you know what? Yes, I'm gonna add some of my ribbon. And so I'm gonna dovetail right here. And I wanna make smaller bows. So I'm gonna probably say about a six inch loop. I'm gonna twist around. I'm going to pull and then I'm gonna do a two and then I'm gonna cut right here. I'm gonna grab one of my wires and this is gonna be kinda like a filler for all of the dead spaces like right here. I'm gonna start adding all of this ribbon and remember to go all the way in like this. You wanna fluff. This one I didn't dovetail so I'm gonna make sure that I dovetail like that. So then I'm gonna add another one right here and you guys, don't be afraid to cut your ribbons. You already paid for it. You know, to, for ribbon, for you to be able to do with ribbon what ribbon was intended to be, you have to cut it. There is no way that you're gonna achieve a goal with ribbon if you just try to not cut it because it was expensive or X, Y, or Z. Just cut it. You can always repurpose it in another way later on. So I'm gonna add one right here and I'm gonna go all the way in into my, like that. And I'm gonna make sure that I dovetail this guy like this. This is kind of like your supporting actress right here. And I'm gonna add one right here as well. You have to let your eye dictate where is it want to live? Where, what, where does it wanna be? All right, so I'm gonna add one more. I'm gonna do a three loop, and look how easy it is to make these bows, you guys. This, making this swag shouldn't take you more than like 15 to 20 minutes once you have the practice. And the, I think the best thing you can do is like not overthink about it, not um, really judge it. You have to let it be what it is, which is just a swag. I'm gonna add one right here, and I'm gonna go all the way in. 
like this and then look you kind of flatten them and then you go back in there and then you fluff and you dovetail your little tails like this look how fun make sure that all of your glitter shows and i'm gonna add one right here supporting those big ornaments remember they're larger ornaments so you kind of have to cover but don't put too much ribbon we're gonna add some greenery and also we're going to add some glitter picks that are going to also fill in in those spots this is going to be the last ribbon i add for now i might have to add later on when we're done with the picks we might have to add a little bit more but as of right now that'll be it i'm gonna cut right here grab one of my wires i'm trying to go as fast as i can so you guys can see how easy it really is to um, make these swags i'm gonna put this guy right here grab your bristle and go all the way in and spin it around and then fold up look at that and so now i'm gonna cut this guy right here make sure we i i don't tell them backwards that's more like it all right so far so good i like the way this looks i'm gonna put i'm already seeing that i'm gonna need another bow up here to support that mesh ribbon so let me just do that real quick and i'll be right back keep watching Okay, so now I'm done with the ribbon for now. I might need some later. And so what I wanna do is I wanna add some of these flocked cedar picks. This is my favorite thing that I love adding to my swags, wreaths, Christmas trees, because it really changes the look. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make sure that I add a little bit of my glue and look how you bend it and you can give it a little of, of life. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it right here into my glue and let it drip down and I'm gonna go right here where my very top is and I'm going to insert right there and that just adds that greenery that is going to separate the green and the ribbon and be sure you give them a lot of uh, life now I'm gonna tell you a secret right now I'm gonna be carrying this myself in my own shop next year for Christmas I'm gonna provide you with the ribbons and the picks that I think are the must-haves for the holiday season but more on that later you guys so you're gonna be you're gonna be able to get it straight from me starting this next holiday season thumbs up for that i won't have to send you somewhere anymore all right so i'm gonna get another one and i'm going to split it in half like that once again don't be afraid to cut all of your stems because you already paid for them and look how pretty this is this is just absolutely love it i love a flat cedar you guys know that's my favorite pick to work with all right, be sure with that glue because it's hot. So I'm going to go right here. I'm going to add. And look at that. Oh, my gosh. So pretty. I'm going to add the other one up here. And as you guys can see, this cedar pick is really supporting all of the other elements and is giving it that um, flyaway three-dimensional that I always tell you guys you have to create. I'm going to add this one right here like that. Look how it's giving it that three-dimensional. I'm going to put one coming right here. This has been so much fun. I cannot wait to read your comments, you guys. I just love reading your comments when you tell me that you've learned a new trick or that you used it around your home. So be sure to leave me a comment to let me know what is your favorite project you've watched here at Ramona Home this holiday season. Do you know I read all of your comments? Right now, during the holiday season, I might not be able to answer all of them. I tried but um, i do read all of them i promise you all right so now i have that one right there i'm gonna come with this one over here to elongate my shape i'm gonna put a lot of glue on this guy don't be afraid to be generous with your glue i'm gonna lift this ornament and i'm just going to insert right there so far so good so now we're going to put these two aside and we're gonna add some glitter because what would Christmas be without the glitter? I found this gorgeous stamp at Hobby Lobby, you guys, for, let's see. Let me see how much, let me remove this tag and I tell you how much it was. I need my glasses. I can barely with all these lights. All right, this was $9.99 and as you guys can see, it's kind of like a flat cedar fern or a fern and it has so much glitter and it's so fluffy i just love it so i'm gonna insert this guy right here 
a lot of glue and I'm gonna start up here on the top and I'm gonna go kind of like to the back and look at that how fun is that you don't even need much of this I'm gonna cut them into two so that it's pretty tucked in because you don't need a lot of it and for for five dollars you can really give your swags and your wreaths a lot of life with one of these picks from Hobby Lobby I'm gonna add this guy right here just a little peekaboo of this glitter stuff and remember to move in a, in a step ladder motion so that way you are creating balance on your swags and on your wreath so now I'm gonna come this way right here like that I always try to remove this glue especially if it's being seen like that all right so now I'm gonna add one coming down to the bottom I'm gonna cut it in two to get most of my money the customer's money because it's for a customer you know I always when I'm working for somebody else I always try to get them as much as I can with their money because that's the way I like to think myself so I'm gonna add one right here on the bottom did I already split one yep and I'm gonna lift it up in a second so you guys can see this bottom one's going to really elongate the shape but you have to make sure that you really put some glue in there this is looking fabulous I feel like it needs one coming out of there so I'm gonna split this in two like this I'm gonna put some glue in it and I'm gonna add right here all right you guys well I'm just gonna do a little bit of fluffing and I'm gonna take it to the door and show you what it looks like keep watching All right, everyone, so I just want to show you real quick how gorgeous this swag looks like on the front door. I love all the silver and the white and just the little touch of glitter with the stems and all of the flat, flat cedar that I am obsessed with. And as I mentioned before, we're going to be carrying for you next year here at Ramona Home. I really hope you enjoyed this swag. If you do, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and share it with a friend so they know about Ramona Home. All right, you guys, well, that's all I have for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to let me comment down below and let me know if you are as excited as I am for the Christmas home tour coming December 1st. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you already, if you enjoyed this video, then I'm gonna link up right here, a beautiful wreath so you can continue to be inspired. Until next time, bye.